if you're a follower of my channel you know that I do have a little bit of a fetish for crash helmets and it's one of my favorite items to test and review so when Santa gave me the opportunity to review their Savage smart open face helmet I jumped at the chance so what makes the Savage so special well it's the first open face helmet to come to market with an integral Bluetooth comms unit it's a composite fiberglass shell. It's DOT and CE rated. The helmet weighs in at 1100 grams in a size medium, and it certainly feels like quite a light helmet when you're riding in it. Color wise, well, you've only got two choices. The Savage comes in this matte black, or you've got gloss white, and that's it. It comes with everything you'd expect, the charging cable, the instructions. There's even a nice little blow up helmet donut in the bag as well. And it comes with two peaks. So you get this classic short style and a kind of 70s, 80s longer peak. And because the helmet comes with the traditional three snaps along the brow, it does mean that you've got a lot of options in terms of face shields, bubble shields, flat shields, whatever it is on the market. So that's the construction. What about the tech that goes inside it? Well, it is a Bluetooth 4.1 system obviously you haven't got the faff of having to fit the comms to it it comes ready to go uh, it comes with the speakers and a very clever microphone that is hidden up in the top of the lining here the four-way intercom has a range of 1.6 kilometers or one mile and it's got the advanced noise control from center which is really great it just means that when nobody's talking you're not getting lots of interfering background noises coming into the helmet i'm not going to spend a lot of time going through the controls because they're pretty much the same as any other center unit the jog dial on the side really nice and easy to use with a gloved hand as well and the function button really nice and big and it's got the usual sort of functions that you want so you've got voice prompts it's got an fm radio you can share music amongst riders connected in the group and it works with the center app so that's the tech details of the helmet and the look around it, what's it actually like on the bike? Well, I'm hoping you can pick the audio up clearly. I'm trying it with the peak on. Don't know if that will have any impact to the microphone up the top here. Um, I'll try it without and I haven't got a naked bike to ride on at the moment. So I'm on the Tiger and you do get a little bit of blustering from the screen. So I don't know if that really impacts that or not. But in terms of comfort of wearing the helmet, I find it a very comfortable helmet. It's just like many other uh, open face helmets. It's a plain, straightforward matte black helmet. Looks good on its own. Looks good on uh, with this peak and with the longer sort of 70s style enduro peak. It's comfortable, it's pretty light. It is maybe a little bit more bulbous than some other competitors out there. Uh, but it's certainly no different to a Bell Custom 500 or indeed my Shoei J.O. But you've got the benefits of the comms built into the unit. And now, as I said, this will probably come in useful for a lot of those guys riding classic bikes or the Harley guys or the Cruiser guys that want to wear an open face helmet, but would also like to have communication when riding in a group, but don't necessarily want to stick a comms unit on the side of the helmet so to have this uh, built in as an integral unit I think works really well. Controls are really easy to get to this uh, uh, jog dial on the side here I think works really well I actually find that easier than using the push button controls on the uh, SRL2 on my GTR2 um, it's a bit like the 30k, you can just get in there, you can find it straight away. The big button behind is again really easy to access, no problems with the controls. I've currently got this connected through to my old uh, GoPro Hero 3 with the Senna GP10 Bluetooth back. Uh, that seems to work really well, it connected first time. I've had no issues connecting this to other Senna comms units. Um, I haven't been able to try it with any others because I have to say I don't know anybody with one of the other packs to try that out with. So the only people I know uh, that ride with comms units ride with the Senna one. So that's all I've been able to try it against. Um, but it works well with that, connects really well. Clarity is really good. People say they can hear me really well. So 
All in all, I think it's a really smart package to be able to pick up a helmet off the shelf with everything in it and it's still pretty discreet. The little button sticks out, but that makes it easy to use, but it's still not a big unit on the side. I really like it and I think Senna with the Savage have done a really good job. So I'm coming up to a road now where I can get the speed up a little bit and I'll be able to talk to you at 70 miles an hour and hopefully you'll still be able to pick up what I'm saying. We'll see. At the moment I'm doing 40 miles an hour here. You do get a little bit of extra wind noise, but hell, you've got to expect that. You've got a microphone set up here. Okay, so let's get the speed up now. So that's 50, 60, 70, and hopefully you can still hear me. I'm having to shout. Obviously you get quite a lot of wind noise from this. So if I stand up, still doing the same speed, that takes the buffeting out. Be interesting to see if that makes much difference. Uh, actually, whilst I'm out here, I'm not sure if the camera's going to stand on here, but I'm going to have a little bit of a play while I'm here. Yeah! I'll just give you a quick run on the bike without the peak in its naked form. There is quite a strong crosswind coming off this field. I will stand up briefly so I lose the buffeting from the screen and you'll get an impression as to whether you think that makes a difference as well. So the proof they say is in the pudding and hopefully this is that pudding. As you've just seen, trying to get the peak back on when you've got the helmet on, it's not very easy. So I'm going to leave it off. To give you an idea of what it's like with no engine noise and no wind noise, this is just me talking at a normal level. And I have to admit, I really like it. It's a very useful piece of kit to have everything integrated into an open face helmet. I think it's fantastic. And I think this will be a great product for those guys that are looking to get the freedom of an open face but still maybe want to have a natter with their mates in a group ride or just get telephone calls or sat nav instructions. So I hope you found this useful and if there's any comments or questions just let me know in the comment section down below and all that leaves me to say is until next time thanks for watching take care ride safe and I'll see you soon. Bye. Thank you.